Everything has a beginning. Mount Carmel, a high school in a San Diego suburb called Rancho Penasquitos. A place where many friendships began and others blossomed into something undeniable. That's Omar, my best friend still today, some 20 odd years later. He's probably the silliest guy I know. Oh, is it hammer time? <laughs> <laughs> well, other than me, that uh, handsome fellow there on the left. Thank you! I suppose all told, we had a pretty typical teenage existence. With one exception. How was your birthday this year, Omar? Huh? How was your birthday this year? Uh, drugged. <laughs> we laugh, but Omar wasn't kidding. He probably was drugged for his birthday. Say something to everyone out there in TV land. Hi. See? Omar's dealing with something that, for many, is unfamiliar. It's a pretty exclusively African-American disease. I went to sickle cell camp when I was a kid. It was like 300 black kids and one Mexican girl. In the United States in particular, this is a very rare disease. And if we look at the state of California, for example, there's 35 million people, and we calculate there are about 9,000 patients with sickle cell disease in the state. So if you do the math, that means the likelihood of any particular physician encountering one of these patients is extremely low. Because sickle cell people, we take a lot of medicine throughout our lives, we're kind of stigmatized as addicts. Stigma really comes in Sadly, when people uh, aren't cute kids anymore, I don't know how else to say it. You can imagine being a black guy my size, walking into an emergency room and saying, I have severe pain in my leg and I need Demerol or morphine. They're going to look at you and the first thing they think is that you're a drug abuser. Some of our uh, patients will say that they have to fix their hair and put on makeup. So again, they've been in pain for three days, and they have to fix their hair and put on makeup to go to the emergency room and not in their sweats so that they look like a professional. So even in areas like Atlanta, you know, where there's a big black population, uh, they're not knowledgeable, and they have some pretty deeply embedded ideas about, you know, black folk. Here's our objective. To educate to build awareness. Because the strongest guy I know is this guy right here, and he's not alone. 